Yeah. You've got your hat, you've got your lunch, you've got your hanky. Oh, did you put sunblock on? No. Oh, sorry. Right, I want everyone in line for a head count, please. Right here. Yeah. Hey, Rachel. That's a buddy system today, so everyone, keep an eye on your buddy at all times. Look at these two, they've become great friends. I know, I know. David talks about JJ all the time. OK, let's go. Bye. Parents, we'll be back here at three. JoJo was wondering if uh, David would like to come over to our place to play, maybe next weekend. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, he's with his dad next weekend, but, uh, but I think I can organise it. That'd be great. Great. Thanks, okay. okay, I'll give you a tingle, all right? See you. Yeah. kill you with this a dozen different ways. So you and you, get on my boat or you die. Get on the boat now! You, take the boy. And you, overboard. What about the boy? You can go overboard conscious or unconscious. Choose. Is your ex-hubby your wife for? Oh, till the end of the week. Well, oh, skiing in New Zealand, I can use some of that. Not with him, you couldn't. Uh... Must be nice having his son around, eh? Yeah, yeah, it's so exhausting, though, because he brings his video games, OK? <laughs> yeah. I just can't help myself. What's going on? Hey, oh, I've got to head out. Some lunatic's abducted a school kid on a cruise boat. What's the name of the cruise boat? Uh, the Dolphin. Who's the kid? Look, the name I've got is JJ Solomon. Oh. I'm coming with you. I put David on that boat this morning. Where is he? It's a man gone. 
Jack, I saw him. David? I trusted you with my child. I put my child's life in your hands. Well, we're doing everything we can. Everything There's not much point blaming. Everything that could be done hasn't. Two men against one man. I don't know what this guy was like. This guy was like an animal. You should have done something. Simon, you should have done anything. Rebecca, 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 it's okay. What have you done? Rebecca, it's okay. Wait, I hear David's missing yeah, too. Yeah, please, please, all right, just calm down, okay? All right, the divers are down. Okay, we've got the name of the cruiser, we've got a description of the cruiser. We're gonna locate it. Oh, I'm so afraid I'll never see him. We'll find him. We will. Okay? Now calm down, do this interview for me, all right? This is Michael Riley, Rebecca Solomon. Hey, Mrs. Solomon, can you come upstairs with me, please? Are you all right? Yeah. yeah. You want to do this? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. You got a description? Um, about your height and build, brown hair. I didn't notice the yeah, eyes. with the kids. Did he just uh, select them at random no, or did he... No, no, he had a, um, a photo. He had a photo? He had a photo in his hand. And he looked at it first and then he picked out um, JJ Sullivan. You know there's two boys no, missing David's here. missing there's David well. Did Goldstein, you know David you know? was missing? Look, I'm sorry. I just saw him pick out JJ. OK, th this guy, did he look Jewish to you? Oh, are we talking stereotypes here, Detective? Two okay, Jewish children. Come on, really? Hey, come on, give me a break. OK, this guy picked out the Solomon boy from a photo. All I'm saying is, in a child abduction, it could mean an ex-husband. Give me a break, you know? Uh, my husband, JJ's father, was killed in January 1991. Jacob was an officer in the Israeli army. He led his recon unit behind Iraqi lines and none of them came back. And there's been no one since? Look, I'm sorry, Mr Solomon, that I've got to delve into your private life. It's just that often when children are taken, it's an ex-partner. I have a partner, Harry. He's not an ex, though. He's like a father to JJ. And you've told him about this? Uh, I haven't been able to get in contact with him. The mobile's been switched off and every time I've tried the home or office, uh, there hasn't been an answer. Walker wants to see us both. Sure. I just, I've just got to have a breath of fresh air to see. Are you OK? You don't, don't, don't. i just got to find out where he is, what's happened. Until we hear something or find something. They've got nothing on the cruiser. Oh, Rachel, Jack, look, I just wanted to tell you that we'll put a trace on Mrs. Solomon's phone. We've also put a trace on yours. Now, we'd like you both at home, sitting on the phone, in case the kidnapper calls with any ransom demands. Oh, no, I, I, I'd rather be here. I'd Rachel, be doing crime something. agency detectives are involved. Everybody's looking. You're more useful on the phone, Rachel. Trust me. Look, I, I'd like to send uh, Riley home with the Solomon woman so I can keep talking to her, you know? I mean, the offender, he picked the Solomon kid out from a photo, right? To me, that makes him the primary target. Now, if he's got Rachel's son, I think that that is just collateral damage, right? I'm sorry, OK, but let's be frank here. Right, if, if the Solomon kid is the primary target, then we need to know everything there is to know about this family, right? Especially her, her shoe size, her, her cup size, you know? Who's up who, who's paying the rent? All right. Major point. So you're betting that she knows the offender? Oh, it's lay down Mazaire, right? She either knows him or knows who hired him. EKG Sydney Water Police to Police Lodge Harvey. Harvey standing by. Do we have an update, please, Sarge? Same as 10 minutes ago, Constable. I've got Detective Goldstein here with me. Whack her on. Hi, Dave. Rachel, what can I tell you? We're looking in all the right places and finding nothing, so good news. Yeah. Yeah, right. Look, um, I've got to head home. Uh, I'll be by the phone if, um, you know, if, you know, if you uh, find something that might tell us something. Well, you know we're wasting our time because David's alive. Find a school bag. Yeah, OK, but Yeah. OK. I'll drive you home. Okay. Oh, no, it's oh, Come on, don't worry. So you last saw Harry at breakfast. You know, JJ off at the wharf, went to work, and the school rang you there. Yep. Yeah. 
Jay, Joey. Rebecca, is this yours? Mine are in the dishwasher. So it's your partner's. He left in a hurry. No. No, he'd never do that. What do you mean by that? He, he'd never leave things like that. I'll try his mobile again. You want someone to wait here with you? No, I'm going to be fine, really. Come on, you're not just saying that, are you? Because, you know, you don't have to go through this on your own, you know, if you don't want to. I remember my dad said that, uh, you know, anxiety, it's, it's just like the worst emotion because there's no relief and it just gets... And I, at least with grief, they'd be, no, please, just piss off. Piss off, please, Jack, I just... You're the last person I want to see me cry. I'm sorry. Yeah, Jack Christie. Yeah, Jack, it's Helen. Listen, I just got a call from the feds. They ran that check for us. And you're not going to believe this. Rebecca Solomon's ex-husband is still alive. You're kidding me. No, no, I'm not. Look, apparently he was picked up by an Israeli border patrol ten days ago. He's been a prisoner of war since 1991. He's just managed to escape. Where is he now? Well, you see, that's the thing. Immigration reported that he landed in Australia two days ago. Okay, well, I'll head over to Rebecca Solomons and tell her myself. No. No, no, Jacob's dead. He, he went on a mission eight years ago and he didn't come back and they told me that he was dead. We've had it on good authority. He, he's, he's been alive all this time and, and I just got on with my life. Do I matter to know that, Rebecca? Your, your ex-husband was an army officer, then, then why would they hold him for eight years? Because he wasn't an army officer. He was Mossad. He was a spook. I have to call Israel. I, I, I've got to speak to his mother. Maybe she hasn't seen him. Does Jacob know about your new partner? His mother knew. She was happy for us, happy that JJ had a father. Uh, uh, you make the call. I'd like to have a look around the house. Just make the call. Make it. Clear. have a photo of JJ and they're watching all the parting flights for him and Jacob Solomon. When he tries to leave the country, they'll arrest him. Do you reckon he's going to try and take Rachel somehow? What do you think? He's jagging rather, cutting loose. We're ready for you now, boys. I don't know to think about it. Yeah, just two minutes. What's the verdict, Chopper? Ill treatment. You use these jumper leads, honey? Yeah, there are burn marks consistent with that. In there. Well, oh, the old bulk cutters, eh? They're not good enough anymore, are they? I'm going to have a guess. I'd get the rent money on it. I was tortured. I think his heart couldn't handle it and gave out on him. Yeah. He had a heart condition, didn't he? He uh, had a heart problem, yes. He, uh, he had a, a mild attack two years ago. He has to watch what he eats. Jacob tortured Harry, didn't he? We believe so.
It's David. Oh, I just came to give you an update. Can I come in? Yep. Yeah, Helen Ray. She told me what you found in the garage. Okay, did Helen tell you about Rebecca Solomon's call to Jacob's mother in Tel Aviv? Apparently, uh, Jacob went to see her after he was debriefed. She told him all about Rebecca, where she was, who she was living with. How did he react? Not good. He said he wanted to go away for a while. He asked his mother not to tell Rebecca. He said he wanted to do it himself. Uh-huh. And he jumped on a plane and flew to Sydney? Yeah, more or less. But I'll give this to you straight enough. His mother said that she'd never seen him so, so angry, so disturbed. Right. OK, so the worst scenario that we've got is that, um, is that David's dead, and the best scenario is that he's been abducted by a professional killer. Yeah, and I wish I could tell you different. How's it going, Dave? Hey, Joyce sport you. Same, same. That cruiser could be anywhere by now. Yeah, do you think he slipped through the heads? Paul there would have seen it. I reckon they'd hold up in a marina somewhere. Yeah, even if we do find the cruiser, he probably won't be on it. We were trying I've got to Thai food, is that right? She's not gonna want any. Go. Who's that? No, 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 don't jump in. Oh, oh, I hope you're gonna eat something. It cost me 50 bucks. Oh, Come on. Yeah. Well, I'll see you when you get back. At... Look, I'm going, all right? Look, is there any news? Look, Rachel, the divers now feel that they've exhausted the possibilities, and I think that is a really good sign. But Nemesis and Polly, no, nothing yet. Oh, that's great news. So that conversation went well? Yeah, 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 it's all my fault. Half of the course, darling. That's Jacob. I was so in love with him. Where did you meet? Israel. I'm a Sydney girl, but uh, I went over there to work on a kibbutz. That's where I met Jacob. He was so funny and so gentle. He was great with JJ. After he disappeared, I didn't want to live anymore. But I had to. For JJ? They told me he was dead. After a year or so, I gave up hope. So I brought JJ back to Sydney. For years I prayed that he was alive. And now he's come back a monster. And thanks for the food too. Why, you didn't eat any. You call me yeah. if you need me. Okay. All right, thanks. You take care. Look, uh, I think I might just try and get some sleep. Would you like me to stay with you? I could, I could sleep in the lounge. It just might be nice to have, to have someone around, even me. Oh, look, um, I think I'll be fine. I, I just want to, you know, sleep and I'll be OK. You know, letting other people help you is not a sign of weakness, you know. It'll be OK. I started dropping it for a beer before I go. Uh, beer, please. He's been looking after Rebecca Solomon. Oh, he's looking after the grieving widow, eh? The old trick. <laughs> You're a sick man, Jack. <laughs> no, no, seriously. The uniform boys, they're looking after the house. Mm -hmm. How's Rachel? Oh, you know, she's holding it together. I didn't say but so. She's hoping boys are all right. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean, both.
David? How'd he get here? I jumped on when that man was fighting. He says he's my real father. Wants to take me back to Israel. Do you want to? Not and leave Mum. So let's go then. Goldstein. He's my friend. How did you find this boat? I didn't. Don't lie to me! How did you know we were here? I jumped on when you were fighting. We have a buddy system. We look after each other and David's my buddy. So, to look after your buddy, you came on board while I was not looking? Yeah. His mum's a policewoman. A detective. Is that right? She'll be looking for us, so you better let us go or she'll blow you away. Many people have tried that. <sighs> Empty your pockets. So, you really are David Goldstein. And you go to school with my son. Yeah. There's something I have to do. So, I'm going to lock you in the cabin. Now, don't try to escape, because I'll know. And then something bad will happen to you. Understand? Jacob Solomon, and I'm holding your son, as well as my own. Now, I'm going to take my hand away, and we're going to have a discussion. Hmm. Where's David? He's safe. He's alive. How do I know that? Because if he were dead, I would tell you so. I just want him back, okay? We both want our sons back. That's why I'm here. David tells me you are a detective. Yep, that's right. I know that does not mean you can work miracles, but it does mean you know how the system works. You could be useful. It's Jacob. Jacob, right? Correct. All right, mine's Rachel. I know. Listen, Jacob. My son, he has he has nothing to do with your problems, okay? It would be a it would be a generous gesture if you just let him go. I've been trained in negotiation, Rachel. Don't try to use it on me. I spent eight years in a prisoner of war camp. For the first year they interrogated me, so don't let's play games. I admire you, Jacob. I admire what you've done for our people. I admire what you suffered, what you've gone through for us. You admire what I did to my wife's boyfriend? Look, I believe I can understand what you're going through. I mean, under the circumstances... You know nothing of my circumstance. I came back from the dead and looked for my family. For eight years, I think of nothing else. And what do I find? My family is now half a world away, and my wife is now another man's woman. And I can't forget about her. She forgets about me. I don't even want to know her. But I would have... My son. And if I can't have mine, you can't have yours. Okay, you've made yourself very clear, Jacob, and I'm gonna do the same, all right? I will do anything to get my son back alive. Do you understand me? I will do anything. At last, now we're getting somewhere. 
There's a man we have to find. His name's Charles Hartley. Right, they met in the Gulf War. He's Australian. He's attached to the embassy. Now, Jacob says that Hartley did some things in the Gulf War that even now he wouldn't want revealed. OK, right, so this whole thing's about blackmail. Exactly. He reckons that if he can have a chat with Hartley, that some sort of arrangement can be made to get he and JJ out of the country. Oh, come on, you've got to be joking. I mean, this is way out of our league. We oh, can't no, Helen, we're we're going to do this, Helen, because he's got my I... baby. We are going to do this, okay, right? How, how do we contact Jacob Solomon? Right, he's going to ring me. 12 o'clock this afternoon at the office. Hang on, hang on. Look, I've really got to talk to Jeff about this. I feel very uncomfortable. All very right, bad we'll do about it. Just do it. All right, give me your phone. Give me your phone. BKG Sydney Water Police, this is Police Launch Nemesis. Go ahead, Tommy. Yeah, Helen, we're running out of options here. You keep looking, Tommy. My name is Hartley. I believe Chief Inspector Hawker is expecting me. Mr. Hartley, Sergeant Blakemore, please come through. Three. Got it. Finally. It looks deserted. Johnson, take the wheel. Tommy! Oh, look, he loves to be the hero and dodge him, huh? Slow and quiet. I believe you know Jacob Solomon, Mr. Hartley. I do, and I don't think you understand what a profoundly dangerous individual he is. No, oh, we're getting that yeah, impression. I met him last night. You survived? Congratulations. Uh, in the Gulf, he had a rather unique way of dealing with prisoners. Mm, he said the same about you. <clears throat> yeah, of course he would. Look, Mr. Hartley, while we're waiting for the call, is there anything you can tell me that might be helpful? Any views you have about this man, you can multiply them by ten. He's trained, he's totally focused on the job at hand. And he's probably survived things that you or I would not survive. He'd do anything to achieve his end, which is why I'm reluctant to meet with you face-to-face. I face understand. To face. I, I do understand it. But you have to do this. There is really no other way. State Protection Group is standing by. You'll be protected. Perhaps, Detective. Perhaps. This is the right cruiser. The right name. Tommy. It's the right cruiser. Can you smell something? Diesel? Bilge? No, 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 no. Something else. OK, so. Nemesis found the cruiser at Longerville Marina. It's empty. Oh, are they sure it's the right one? They found David's bus pass on board. Crime scene are on their way now. There is one other concern. There was a strong smell of diesel and fertiliser. Fertiliser? He's making a bomb. Well, that's the assumption. All right, that's it. I'm out of here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, he hasn't phoned yet, OK? We don't know what the deal is. It might be nothing. Yeah, but if he's making a bomb, he's crazy enough to blow himself up and Look, me with Hang on, if you pull out now, all right, two kids might be killed. No, I don't care. If he's carrying a bomb, you can't guarantee my safety. I sex. promise you, I promise you, all right? I will be with you every step of the way, OK? You will not be hurt. Like this guy, he doesn't want to kill you. He doesn't want to kill you. He wants to get his kid out of the country, all right? Pro please. Please, if you're a man, you're conscious, you've got to do this. You've got to do this, please. Hawker. Yep. Rachel. Detective Goldstein. Yeah, I have Charles Hartley with me now. All right, 12.30, Apple Park. We'll be there. OK, you want to get on the SPG, Jeff?
Is he there? He's here already. Where? I don't know, but he's here already. Hello, Charles. Jake. The men in Black Kid. I told you not to bring it. It wasn't my decision. Who are they? They're the police. Here's the situation. The boys are safe. But unless I get back to them, there is a device set to detonate at 3 p.m. which will kill them. You wouldn't kill your own son. So, I'm speaking to a police officer who has never seen a father do this. Has never heard a father say that if I can't have them, nobody will. Go back and explain to your superiors that if I am harmed or arrested, or not allowed to leave here, then both boys will die at three. Go on! I need to speak to Charles alone. You said you wouldn't leave. You want her to hear what I have to say? It's up to you, you're covered. What's she doing? gun first. He wanted us to kill Jacob. Do you realize what you made me do? Do you realize what you've done? Do you realize what you've done? Do you know what that means? Do you know what that means? I kill him, Jack. I kill him. I kill him. I love him. You see, from where I was standing, I... I didn't see Hartley properly. I, I, I didn't even know he had a gun. The SPG would have fired anyway. Right, they're mixed with uh, Rebecca Solomon. She might know where he left the kids. I might, Mark. What if she doesn't? Yeah, we've still got time. I shouldn't be like this. For eight years, I believed he was dead anyway. Why didn't he just talk to me, Michael? Why didn't he just talk to me? I just want my son back. I just want my listen, son Rebecca, back. Rebecca, listen to me. All right, I need you to stop and think. Did he ever visit this country? Yes. Does he know anybody that lives in Sydney? Yes. He came here when JJ was 18 months old to show him to mum and dad. And where do they live? Here. Here, they lived here. OK, now, once he was in the country, did he visit any place? Did he take excursions, trips? Did he go anywhere? Yes, it was his first visit to Australia. All right, now, I need you to listen. All right? Uh, Rebecca, 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 Rebecca. I need you to remember every place that you went with Jacob. Every place. And I can't stress how important this is. Just, just tell her to keep trying, OK? No go. OK, we've got uh, somewhere in uh, Mount Tambourine, southern Queensland. No, it's too far. Yeah, yeah. And then we've got a cabin in uh, Wentworth Falls, Blue Mountains. But she rang last year, apparently it's been demolished. All right, well, he might still know the area. We get on to the local guys. I don't know. It's, it's too simple. far. It's just too far. It's VKG Sydney Water Police, Water Police 200. There, that's one there. What's that? I, I, I can't remember. I can't remember where is it, it is. Blue Mountains, uh, Mount Maybe Tambourine. Pitwater. Are you sure? My cousin's place. Uh, we spent a day there. You have an address for it? No, it's uh, it's off the track. It's very hard to find. Does Jacob know where it is? Yes, Can yes. Can you guide us in? I think we so. We have to go. We have no time. I'll call the Rachel, numbers. Rachel, we will find them, won't we? Won't we? Oh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Rebecca, we'll get 
right there in time. She doesn't know. Well, I think she knows where it is. Who knows? She may know. Wait, turn right here. Sydney Water Police, this is Water Police 200, over. BKG Sydney Water Police 5. Ah, yes, we're almost there. We've only got 10 minutes left. We'll start the search, over. Copy that. Nemesis is on approach. Please wake up. That's okay. Wake up, sweetheart. It's your mummy. Wake up. <coughs> David? Dave. Hello, oh, baby. All right now. Listen to me. Just try and stay awake, okay? Look at me. Look at me. Just try and stay awake. All right. Is an ambulance coming? Don't move, all right? Don't move. Rebecca, hi, uh, the specialist is, is about to see David. How'd it go with JJ? He's got a burst eardrum, but I can take him home tonight. Right. Uh, I'll get Michael Riley to give you a lift home. Thanks. Is that okay? Rachel, none of this would have happened if I'd stayed in Israel. If I'd known he was alive, if I'd waited for him. Rebecca, I think he was a very different man than the man you married. You know, I don't think you could have changed him. I think I could have. Michael for you, okay? Uh, how was he? Oh, he's sleeping. I reckon it'll be a long one, you know? Yeah, yeah. He's a clever kid. I'd none of the boat. You know where he learned that from? Where? Television. Yeah. That'd be right. He's still a clever kid. I suppose his dad will want to see him when he gets in. All oh, right. What time's the flight? Yeah, a couple of hours. Well, I should go get you, you know, let you get some rest. Yeah, sure. What about tomorrow? Are you taking the day off? Or? Oh, no, 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 I'll come in. Uh, probably in the afternoon sometime, yeah. Don't push it. Jack. Thanks for being there for me, you know. I appreciate it. You didn't need it? Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> 